it, my my favorite kind of Joe song is the one where the 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 the, the hamsters sing it. Not, you don't like the crazy frog version? Second favorite. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like a, the, <laughs> the crazy frog version trumps the original. <laughs> yeah, baby, baby. <laughs> was there a crazy frog version of that? There has to be, right? Probably. I'm sure there is. If it was like a like a tr- neo trance song in the 2000s, there was a crazy frog version of that song. There's got to be like a crazy rock version of Sandstorm or some shit. <laughs> what are you doing? I was going to increase my... Uh, uh, that just a little more smooth. Yeah. Okay. So the, weird, the, the way this one works, it's a lot... So in the first game it was, uh, or the original game I should say... Um, it mattered where you shot the enemies. Like, headshots would give you more points. Mm-hmm. In this one, that does not apply. Oh, okay. So you can shoot, shoot them, just shoot them anywhere. And this is basically like there's a specific way to do it every single time, more or less. Um, so you want to shoot that skull thingy? Yeah, you get that. Oh. It gets very particular with, like, how... It's supposed to work. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's fucking tough. I think I hit the skull thingy in him. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah, on the face. Reload! <clears throat> so there's like, you get different, uh, I don't know, whatever. You gotta get like all the skulls and then you gotta like not miss a thing and whatever. Like that guy, you gotta get the skulls. Not shoot any of the sailor mans. There's a guy with an explosive there in the middle. If you shoot him, kill all of them. Oh, you blew it. You had to shoot the dynamite in his hand, then it'll kill all of them. I missed. We got an A. Any bad? Oh, that's a zombie. Yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard. Uh, comparatively to the first or the original game very difficult at least in my opinion very hard there's a kind of barrel too you gotta like shoot through him or something yeah so like some of them like you have to like shoot through people other enemies and shit so I don't know oh yeah like this one you gotta do two two for there you go with that I like the Spongebob ass music playing in the background. Fire! Fuck! Ooh, that's tricky. That's tricky dicky right there. Oh! Got him. Oh, you. I you, that I'm guy. gonna suck you. Oh, your mother suck. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you don't have to do all these for, for this if you don't want to, no. but they're. They get really crazy difficult by the end. Like even I, I feel like even these original ones are like really hard. Like they're very difficult. Oh, 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 Get okay. real on all the off beats there, man. Damn it! Son of a bitch! There's a <laughs> this made me think of Tourette's guy when I said that. <laughs> oh no! Whoopsie. It's think... fine. It's fine. It's only one guy. I think you have the rifle too, I think. Yeah, yeah. you do. <coughs> Son of a bitch! Ooh, nice. Oh, the fucking barrel. Oh Shut my god! <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie! <laughs> and then if you if you um, manage to hit all of them, it goes into like an overtime mode or some shit, and like there's like all this extra shit at the end. It's fucking hard, man. Yeah. It's really tough. Like comparatively to the original game, very, very, very challenging. Did I win? 
No, you got three tokens, so that's fine. Like you can use it in the the prize machine there. So if you yeah, you need three tokens to unlock a thing, and then you get the golden tokens or some shit. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that might come in handy at some point. But you get, uh, yeah, if you get the golden tokens, then it increases your um, chances of getting a rare mm. um, item or a charm. Okay. You do that as much as you want. Obviously, if you were playing it on your own time, you'd probably spend the time to try to get some of it, but fuck yeah. it, like, who cares? Yeah, right now, I'm just like, yeah, I'll take the one thing. It's really passive, so it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, if you go back to this, you can go to Customize Case, and you can put that charm on it, and you'll get 20% Magnum whatever. Magnum Dong. Yeah. So you get 20% Magnum Dong ammo for crafting. Once you are able to do that. Nice. <laughs> Fucking nice. Nice. What the fuck? Nice. What if one of these games, though, it was just like a door that got stuck because of no one, you know, like... Greased the hinges. Yeah, greased the hinges, and then the guy, that's where the game stops. Just because you're never able to open it. I mean, I don't think that game would sell very well. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Well, with video games, there's a lot of, like, you know, variables that you have to kind of just ignore. Um, you know. Like, it's convenient that there was just gas. enough. Yeah, that there was gas and a boat. Yeah, like, there's a lot of convenient things. And after two pumps, it starts. You could say Leon's a two-pump chump. Uh-huh. Dipper. Who would have fucking guessed? So they actually kind of open it up after this part. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, there's actually some other places you can go to in the boat, which is nice. That's what I appreciate about shit like this. It's not like... It's mostly a one-to-one -one recreation of the original game, but they add stuff, which I think is nice. Yeah. For a modern audience. What the fuck? You, you gotta that? think, too. There's probably, like, a, a good amount of people who, like, this is their first time experiencing the game. Because, like, they just didn't play the original in 2005 or whatever. Yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> It's not me trapped in here with you. It's you trapped in here with me, the Macho Man Randy Savage. And you missed. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. The weird thing is, it says hold L1. If you just let go of L1, he'll throw one anyway. Like, you don't have to hit R2 to throw. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. At least you only have a health... Uh, boat for the boat, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not for you. Come on, guys. Capcom, where's the Macho Man Randy Savage skin? Come on. I honestly think that every game should have a Macho Man Randy Savage mode. <laughs> you remember, like, back on, like, Game Grumps when fucking Ross was playing, uh, what's it called? Skyrim. Yeah, and, and they, they had, had the that. Macho Man mod uh, for the dragons. <laughs> that shit's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. He saved the world. He yeah. died for the rapture. Yeah, he died. He died to make it so that we could all play Skyrim and hate it later. <laughs> Thanks, <coughs> Macho Man. Isn't that like the, the, the traditional Bethesda experience? Like... You, you like play, it. You, you play, play it at lot. first. Yeah, you like it at first, and you play it a lot, and then like gradually, the more you play it, the more you dislike it. Yeah, hundred percent. With maybe for me, the sole exception being Oblivion. And I, I don't think I could play Oblivion right now. I can't. I don't think I could either. But I definitely went through a deep Oblivion phase um, for a while. But yeah, I don't think I could play it now either. No. Like, that game is so, like... Of its, of its time. Yeah, of its time. And, like, even then, like, it wasn't much of a looker. No. 
You know, like there were plenty of other games in and around that time that looked and played way fucking better than Oblivion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Oblivion was, like, for me, it opened the door because I'd never played a game with so much, like, freedom, freedom. like, freedom and stuff in it. Yeah. And then Skyrim came out, and, like, again, we kind of had the rose colored glasses on for a bit. Oh, yeah. And then, and then did. Yeah. Like, I got almost a thousand hours into Skyrim. I don't think I got that far. And I would never play it again. I think I, I had 100 plus hours for me. <laughs> I didn't really put that much time in it. <clears throat> My anus. That was a pretty smooth fight for you, too. That was actually, like, pretty good. Yeah. It was nothing. <laughs> We, um, because the thing too is like, I know that they've added a bunch of mods and stuff to make the game look better and what have you, but like, at the end of the day, like, you can't change how it plays. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it, even for 2011, like, was a, a dated game. Yes, it was. And, and that's the thing with Bethesda, is that they just can't seem to. They can't get ahead of the time. Yeah, and they can't get out of their own way with shit, too, it seems. But, whatever. Typewriter, save it, dude. Or don't. I don't even know what's fine. This is a pretty smooth fight, so I guess I'll... Those are pretty smooth balls. Balls. Ugh. My balls are exposed. Oh, maybe too. Speaking of balls, I'm gonna go get my munchos. Did you like the munchos? No, I'm pretty stuffed. Oh. No chos for me. True. True. You should be good. I'm just gonna snack on a couple. <coughs> See? I was right. Half the bag is air. Yeah. That's why they're so cheap. But yet, still more expensive because we bought them at a gas station. Yeah, they used to print the price on the actual thing. No, they don't, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh no, the boat's got all leak in it. Oh, wait, no, it's just all my piss when I was sleeping. I'm a very hard sleep pisser. Sleep pisser? <laughs> that sounds like a stoner band. Sleep pisser. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like a doom metal stoner metal band. Sleep pisser. Hey, guys. <laughs> We're here. It's our debut... Um, we're, we're called Sleep Pisser. Okay. What? Damn. And this, and this, and this, this is from our upcoming album, Catch Me on Omegle. <laughs> Catch Me on the Rye. Hold the pee pads. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna we're gonna follow it up with our Clean our sheets. new hit. Asparagus makes it smell. <laughs> Did you pick up the thing? Did you pick it up or no? What? The gunpowder. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, you did. He just didn't make an animation to grab it, so I don't know. Oh yeah, no. I'm drunkenly walking around here. Like, yeah, for some reason, this band, every song is just about pissing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a true story. Um, I, I came. Oh, up you didn't with... pick it up, you fucking idiot! Uh, it's still sitting I, in there. I, I didn't. I? No, it's still sitting there. I swear, I, did. I grabbed it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He didn't <clears throat> make an animation to pick it up. So yeah, this is uh, it's a true story. Uh, when I was five years old, I started peeing myself because my dad he beat me with a belt so badly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and that's why it's called sleep pisser. Yeah, that's fucking hot. <laughs> um, that's a dead end. Might as well go to the dead end. Everyone likes dead ends. Well, there's always goodies there. Yeah. No matter what. <clears throat> Gunpowder. Sleep pisser, yeah. It's so dark. Can't see shit, Taylor. Where? 
Oh, did you see uh, <clears throat> Kojima's working on some other... I don't know if it's a game or what the fuck's going on with it. I think it's called, like, OE or something. Omar Epps. <laughs> and it's got um, Sophia Lillis in it. Uh-huh. Do you know who that is? Nope. Um, is she the girl from Harry Potter? No. She's the girl from It. The new It movie. Oh, chapter two. <clears throat> no. Well, she's in both, but... She's Whippy. the kid. She's the kid version of of Beverly, and uh, I like her because she's cute. She was also in Hansel and Gretel. Uh, fuck Hansel. She was also in Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank steals the neighborhood, and Uncle Frank, please stop. She was also in a show. I think it was called "I Am Not Okay" or something like that. Okay. You maybe would recognize her if you saw her. I know who she is. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. She's cool. I like her. I think she's um, very talented. Yeah, she's... she's and she's a, cute. Yeah, she's got a cute face. I touch it with my penis. She is of age now. So yeah. that's... Not that that matters to either of us. I'm just saying so, so that we don't sound like creeps. Yeah. I mean, we can sound like creeps. It's fine. <clears throat> you could have parried that. Yeah, I, I, I saw that right at the... Yeah. <laughs> on my hip. <laughs> is that, yeah, is that what it is? That the only thing that's hurting. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. He's like, uh, it's like oh, my hip. Mm. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh, You're just now saying what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, god damn it. Oh, I think I, oh, I pulled my side. You know what would be really cool <clears throat> is if they could make a game. Get, like, like, they, get like the cramps? No, no. I was going to say, <clears throat> if they could make a game. And, like, I'm sure, like, if, if somebody pulled enough resources into this, they could probably come up with something like this. But, like, <clears throat> something that, like, allows the player to have, like, a microphone hooked up the entire time. And then, like, anything we say reflects on, like, the character in the world. Mm. So, like, you know, if you're in a position where, you know, um, you're in a firefight with somebody and, like, your colleague or your, your you know, your uh, ally is there or something like that. And you're like, what the? Fuck is this shit? Oh, you know, like you say shit, and they're like, I, that, know, I know, man, that's crazy. Like they <laughs> respond to you, whatever you say. <laughs> you know, like if you, you know, we're like in a lull part of the game, you're like, I could really go for a hot dog right now. And they're like, Me too, man. Me too, dude. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be funny, but like I, that would be very hard to do. <laughs> You'd have to account for literally anything that anybody could say. Yeah. I think there's an, an item. Is there an item back there that you pick up on that shrine, or is it? Uh, there's two items. Oh, I can you put need. In okay, to... no, yeah, you need two to put it in there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that would be funny. Like if there was like a means of like. I know, know there's a mod for Skyrim. That the 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 vampire chick you can get. Uh -huh. Um. They basically took her and hooked her up to chat gpt oh yeah yeah that's what i think would like that's probably where ai would kind of come into play i would think like something that can adaptively like respond to like input People, prompts and yeah. whatever yeah but like like it would be cool i'm not saying that like you know it would make the game good it would just be kind of funny to be able to like you know in world like have leon say what the fuck you know yeah like, at any given point. Or so, like, you know, you hear a noise coming from down the hallway, and you're like, hello? And then I got a fucking gun, I will shoot you. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, dude, sorry. And then the enemy comes out, and he's like, what? Oh, no, no, you know. But, yeah. Run over the barrel. Run over. That's how that works. Who put these here? Back oh, up. actually, I think you can get a treasure up there that you shot down way earlier. Yeah, if you keep going, keep going. Yeah, they're over there. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You shot it down, like, the last time we played this game, which was, like, months ago. You could finally get it. I get it, guys. I'm the real Oh, treasure yeah, you got, the, you got the Way Shrine key also. So you can open those up now. They should call me Indiana Jones because I'm a treasure hunter now. They should call me Indiana Jones because I'm a racist. 
I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, how about them? It, belongs, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> the British Museum, specifically. Not any museum that's, like, around here. Yeah. That's weird. We don't do that. I mean, this is America. The museums are underfunded anyway, so. This is America. Ass in my area. Is that the, is that the lyric? Yeah. From, uh, oh, God, what's his name? Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think that's who made that song. <laughs> His I saw the other day. Very that, weird. I saw the other day that Brad Pitt is going to be starring in the next and supposedly final Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. Go back and check out over here before I go out out. That's where you're supposed to go, though, Billy. Out out. No. Oh. But this dock here. Yeah. On your. Right. I wasn't going to stop at any. I was. Oh, okay. Just doing the in the water. <coughs> make sure I didn't miss like a barrel or something. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah I was just. Clear my throat a little. Yeah, well, that's that's where the merchant is right there. Okay. This one. So I can always go back to him. At a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So don't go to that area yet. Yep. That's where you're supposed to go. Oh, wait at on least that. one of two that you're supposed to go to. And the other one you can go to. There's a boat in the middle of the lake you can go to. There's a boat in the middle of There's the lake. There's a thing over there. There's a boat in the middle of the lake. I think the other one is where that torch is. You're supposed to go to. You might as well, I'm going to tell you, go and do that uh, flame uh, as well. It's one you're supposed to go to, but there's nothing else there. There's no enemies or anything like that, and you have to go and do the other one anyway. Oh, okay. So it's just one at a time. One of your things was to get a golden egg, was it not? Yep. I think this is where it is. It's over here somewhere. Do you need do you need help? You got a lot of eggs. Yeah, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat some of these. Yeah, eggs. you gotta eat some of them eggs, boy. There's a boat in the middle of the lake. Yeah, you should go to the boat in the middle of the lake. There's a good thing there. I'm gonna eat all the things in the lake, <gasps> and I'm oh, gonna get the brown egg in the back. There is a golden one over here somewhere. There's a golden egg right here. Oh, there it is. I got the golden egg right there. Oh. I put it in my mouth and I lose it all south. And I'm going to cut this chicken in the leg. Come here. Come here. That'd be sweet if this was like a... Come here. Lipton is all the type of situation where you kill one Bacar. and all of them start attacking Bacar. you. Bacar. Bacar. <laughs> That'd be a real fucking like weird cringy thing to do is just... Go to a chicken coop and go, Bukak, and start stabbing chickens. <laughs> you understand how upset Buckethead would be if you did that? Is Buckethead still a thing? Oh, yeah. Like, he still I get the emails music. daily that he's released a new album. <laughs> he, he releases daily albums? Yes. Huh. He's released, like, there was, I swear there was one day he put out, like, three albums. And I get a notification from Bandcamp, and I'm like, shut up! <laughs> Is it still like that one song that he did a long time ago? Which one? The one that was like in Guitar Hero? No, it's not on the same level as that. What he's done, I don't know um, how long he plans on doing it this way. He had some kind of like heart condition or something. Mm. He actually did an interview, like a candid interview with somebody um, a couple years ago. Um, kind of like <clears throat> going over it and stuff. <clears throat> but, like, <clears throat> for some reason, he's taken this approach over the past several years of doing what he calls the Pike series. And each album cover kind of resembles that of, like, a like a comic book. Okay. So he kind of, I think he treats albums kind of, like, in that way right now. But what I think, what I think he does actually, each album, and he's released, like, probably about 300 of these fucking Pike albums now. That's a lot of fucking music. Um, each one, roughly about a half an hour long give or take a couple minutes, whatever, but they're all, like, in the same ballpark area of length. Like, they're all, like, you know, it's not like he's just doing, like, like a, a five-minute thing. Five minute thing and calling it an album, no. Like, he's doing, like, half-hour albums. Okay. Um, you know, more or less for all of them that I've seen. Um, and for me, what it seems like he does is I think he just, like, improvises on guitar and then just puts guitar or like you know drum and bass tracks behind him, and then certain albums, some of them you'll get all the the symbols in this area. You'll find them. Um, 
some albums are like really like experimental and like ambient and shit. Other ones are kind of more like rock. You mm-hmm. know, other ones are this or that. You know, like he gets all these different styles, but it's just like, I think he just kind of like riffs shit and then just like either has somebody else like program stuff for him or something. I don't know. Cause, or maybe he just like produces a bunch of them and then releases them like, you know, one by one by one by one, like slowly over time. <clears throat> but he's straight up released like I don't even know too many <laughs> like too many and the thing is is like you know I'm not going to say that they're bad but they're certainly not his best work <laughs> so he's definitely gone for more of a quantity over quality type of approach so like very few of the songs I think would be on the level of say something like Jordan like from Guitar Hero like that was a very popular song yes um, I don't think anything is really on that level okay um, well I think it's the three squiggles. Yeah, three squiggles. Uh, I think the two squiggles. These guys? No. Or maybe? you mean. Or maybe the top squiggle? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It's the three squiggles for sure. The three squiggles are there. Oh, okay, so there's one. It's on the right side then. So, that one. Three squiggle. That guy. And the three squiggle. That guy. <laughs> the, the answers were there and I wasn't paying attention. That guy. <laughs> Damn it. I think it's the one next to the three squiggle. You think it's this one? No, the other one's the left of it. Like the, that yeah, one. that one. I think that one. There you go. Uh, kick. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Bucket has been up to. I seriously get a fucking email from about him every single day. <laughs> like, Are like, you still watching your bucket list? No. You should be. <laughs> Blasphemer's head. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Gross. Dylan Gross. My nose is so cold. Yeah, gotcha. Ruby, mir is cold. Whenever I think of rubies, I think about Ruby Booby. I think of Ruby Puby. She was the first girl that I noticed had boobies. No, that's uh, Christina Hendricks. Christina Hendricks. What's uh? <laughs> no, no, no like way? first noticed. No, 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 go back, go back. Go back. There's a, I think if you go around the right-hand side, I think there's a way up to the, all the way to the top, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I think. Right. I could be wrong. It's, uh, it's, uh... Oh, go, go, go around. Was it on this side? Yeah. I think. Oh, I thought there was, like, a yeah, way to get yeah. all the way to the tippy top. Yeah, there's, a. Uh... Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh-huh. I think you got all the goodies anyway, so who fucking yeah. cares? Maybe I'm thinking of the original game, because you could get under the tippy top and push some, like, boxes around. Oh yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. I'm thinking of something. I think I'm thinking of the original game. Why is this still red though? Because it doesn't change color in this. Oh one. yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah. 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 But yeah, she was the first girl that I I know that she. I'm like, oh wow, she's got boobies. First time noticed. With Christina Hedrick? No, Ruby Booby. Oh. Her name was Ruby. Oh. She had boobies. Oh, you should, uh, so you should, there's the boat, and then there's a dock to the left. This one? Yeah, you can go back there and get some stuff. There's some, uh, because you've got that insignia key, there's another door you can use on the, with, with that. Yeah. 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 We'll get on the boat. We're on the boat. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I like a pony. I like a pony. That's how the song goes, right? <coughs> I don't know what song you're singing, so. Ride the pony. Ride the pony. Come on. That one. Is that Fog Hat? <laughs> you know, it's. um. It sounds like a Fog Hat yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, that's fucking that's fucking that's fucking Moni uh, Moni. No, that's that's Billy Idol. Yeah, Moni Moni. What did um, I say? 
Oh, I thought you were saying bony. Bony, bony. <laughs> bony, bony. You're, 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 you're almost stepping into a fucking bear trap. <laughs> you see that? You just it's missed it. It's fine. You just missed it. Oh, see, so I got a band camp notification, but not from Buckethead today. Hi. This is Buckethead's. Hi, manager. Buckethead here, your favorite content creator. <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> Fuck it. It's Bucket Tab. <laughs> And as such, I'm starting up a new charity. I'm raising some money for the children, and I'm totally not going to do what Gerard did. Gerard Butler. Gerard <laughs> Butler. His last name's Butler. Have you ever noticed Gerard Butler's last name has butt in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Mm, anyway... Bad. Everybody knows me as a guitar player who also ruined Guns N' Roses even more than they already did. <laughs> My name is Slash. Wunter Slash. <laughs> what was there something? My name is Slash. Slash Gallagher. How's it going? Also known as Buckethead. Aluga. I know what you're talking about. Did you open up the door? No. Was yes, that, yes, there, I did, no, or yeah, but yes, you didn't yes, go I in. Did. No, I did not go in. I oh, was okay. looking around, right. make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, no, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and there's a drawer. I think you can open up in there. Can I get through there? Oh yeah, you got to go up in there. There's a cool thing up there. I think. Oh, there's a way shrine back here <gasps> that you can open. Yeah, dude. Shut, dude. Shut, bro. Shut, good, bro. Remember when we were all. Like really cool surfers no. in the nineties and two thousands. No, the next time I shoot some guests we can talk about that more. Shuck. Yeah.